Hi everyone, today we are going to see patterns. Patterns in Ruby. Yeah, pattern is a common thing in any coding language. Today we are going to see in Ruby. Ruby in Ruby patterns is completely easy. Uh, in common pattern is a idea. We can say it as an idea. In more simple words, we can say that pattern it is a description or template for how to solve a problem to solve a problem that can be used in many many different what situations in usual patterns contains rows and columns let us imagine it is like row and column we can consider row as i and column as j okay come first let us see a simple code for displaying rows i'm using for loop can use any loop for patterns i'm using for loop and i is a variable for i in we have to give ranges i'm giving 1 to 7 do no need, no need of this so it will sublime would automatically give the end for our code we have to erase this completely hmm. yeah it is very very simple see i'm giving put i that's it I'm saving the program. Now let us run this one in terminal. Ruby XYZ dot RB. Yeah, here I got a output from 1 to 7. Cause I gave the range as 1 to 7. Yeah, we got a output. Come. It is more fun. We can see a lot of examples. Now we have seen for rows alone. Now let us see for columns too. It's very simple. Uh, we are just going to include a column. For column I have already said. We can consider J as column. For J in um, let me giving a same range 7 do print that is a difference between print and puts ok I am giving I let it print I and I am going to end the J loop. Before ending I loop, uh, we need a space, no? So I am giving puts. We can also give puts slash n, but both are same. Both are used for uh, space. Even if you give just simply puts itself, it's enough, more than enough. Okay, let me save this. I am going to run this one terminal again that one yeah here we got a output for j and i also in print we have given i right so depending on the i it have print the output i hope you understand come we can 
learn a lot in patterns. A very little simple changes can provide attractive outputs. Yeah, we can give star pattern also here. Just simply you have to include star here. I'm saving the program. I'm going to run this one. Yeah, I have got the star, but why I'm getting these numeric values here means we have done some mistake in our code. Yeah, we have gave puts yes puts i here. So it printed the numeric values too. Let us give puts here. Uh, then it will give us space alone. What if we don't give puts here means let's see here. Uh, let's see this output Yeah It is giving in a horizontal way Come we need some space now, so we shall give puts here and we will get a, a new line I'm saving this and I'm going to run then then run this one. Hmm. Now it looks more beautiful. Come, we shall see more examples. We can also ah uh, yeah, I have shown you the difference between print and puts but in more detail i'm giving you a, a small example let us keep i alone rows alone first we shall give puts i we have already seen this for the different shape purposes okay when i give puts i it's printing one to seven in a vertical way right what if i give print i come let us save this one and Hmm. here you can see the difference there is no next new line it have printed continuously like one two three four five six one okay now you you can be more clear about it okay come let us see alphabets what if we we can also print alphabets in this come let us include the column also for j in for g in one two same two print 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 g okay we are going to end this one and for space puts let it be like this what we have to change to get output as an alphabet is in quotations you have to include a to the range the only thing you have to change is the range a to z okay in i i'm giving 
a2 z same thing I'm going to give here yeah in j also I'm giving a2 z okay let us run this one I'm saving this I'm gonna run this one yeah here we got the output from a b c d e f g till z and just because we gave print <coughs> j the output was like that what if we give print i here i'm saving this one i'm going to Yeah, we can see the difference I guess. The previous one, it was like A, B, C, D and when we give I means, print I means it will be like A, 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 B, B, B like it depends on the row and in that one we have gave print I, sorry print J so the whole program runs depending on the J. I hope this is pretty much enough. Yeah. Okay. Everything is fine. What if we want to get from the user? So simple. In order to do patterns according to the user's value what you have to do is first you have to put enter the number because we have to get the number from the user so num is equal to it is going to be an integer so integer gets dot chum as usual for I'm using for loop for I in I'm going to give the range 1 till it should be the num the value that we get from the user do and let us include the column too for j we can we can use anything as a variable like for instead of j you can also use b in 1 2 num 2 print b we can print p or i we can keep this s a for better understanding yeah here and here is a mistake we have to deal with this one that's why the color didn't change print here i'm giving print a or b anything as you wish I'm going to end this a loop and then in between this we need space so puts okay, I'm saving this one let us run this one this program yeah it is asking the user to give the number now I'm going to enter the number 7 Here we got the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's fabulous, no? Okay, we can change here as B. It's completely fun when you understand and you can make more changes and see a lot of results in it. 
again I'm giving 7 yeah this is the difference hope you all learned and understood patterns in a very simple way thank you bye